Well, we are starting today's show with actually an awesome giveaway. Nice. We have a pair of tickets to see the Arizona Onstage Productions performance of Les Mis this Saturday at the Burger Performing Arts Center at the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind on Speedway. The production runs Saturday through August 17th. Visit TucsonMorningBlend.com and click on the contest link. And for tickets and info, visit ArizonaOnStage.org or call 882-6574. Kind of bummed because we can't win our own giveaways. No, you I would can. love to see Les Mis. Have it, you seen it? I have. You not not here, but I have seen it before, yeah. You have? Is it good? Yes. See, everyone, I was like, okay, I've never seen the Broadway show of Les Mis, but I saw the movie Les Mis. Well, it was good. You, it was you good. thought so? Yeah. I think yeah. I made it to when, um, who's the main actor in that? Uh, Anne Hathaway? No, yeah. the male. Oh, uh, Wolverine. Uh, yeah. Hugh, Jackman. Hugh Jackman. I think I made it to his first song, and it was Snoozeville's for me. Really? Which his song is in like the first five minutes of the movie. I was going to say, doesn't that, isn't that how the movie starts? <laughs> yes. I know. And not only am I sad because I can't win our giveaway today, but I'm also sad because it is Zach's last it is. day co hosting I with know. me. It makes me sad too. It is. I'm shedding tears because we have had so much right? fun together. I've loved it. I really have. It's been excellent. And I mean, I have totally gotten my kicks because I've gotten to haze Zach almost every time he's been on the show with talking about The Bachelorette that was fun. and a lot of female topics. I know that how to pack a bag when yes. my wife is having a baby. Exactly. I mean, she is going to be like, you are a pro. And I, and I will be. I, uh, <laughs> and I you're going to say, those were my morning blend days. <laughs> That's right. And so I thought today, instead of hazing you just one more time and maybe talking about the importance of breastfeeding your children. Oh, good. I thought we would double down on that one today. <laughs> I thought we would end your reign on the morning blend talking about sports. Oh, I know. It only took six weeks. Right? <laughs> I know. I'm a fast learner. So let's talk about the Little League World Series champions. Yeah, how about the boys from Nogales? Right here. Wasn't that awesome? That was. You see it right here, and I was watching this game. It was in California. These kids were down 3 nothing, and they came back and scored 11 of the final 12 runs to win the game. It's just fantastic. These kids, 12 years old, and to know what a world championship feels like before you become a teenager, is a pretty incredible feeling. There are plenty of professional athletes that will. And now I know how cold that Gatorade is. Too. Yes, I was going to say, you've been there. You've done that. There are so many professional athletes that have reached the highest level that will never know what this feels like. And to have it happen here in Southern Arizona, it's a wonderful thing. These kids should be really proud of what they did. It's, this, this is all summer long, and it's August. These kids have been playing baseball for months. Right, exactly. And now this was like, I mean, this was the epitome of what, you, yeah. what you've strived for an entire season. There's no, until there becomes an interplanetary championship, the world championship is the best you can do. So, yeah, they, they've reached the summit, and they've done it uh, at a young age. And it's, it's a wonderful thing. They had a, a parade last night. Kids I come home. Ticker that. tape. I mean, that's and didn't great. they have like? Didn't the fire department do like a big water, yeah. Oh, yeah. like yeah, a a rainbow deal. type thing? Yeah. Yeah. How great. cool would that be? And yeah. how old are these kids? Like twelve? Twelve and thirteen. Twelve and thirteen. To or have eleven an and twelve. Experience either way. Like yeah. That. That's what I mean. And it just it, it's so overwhelming. I mean, these kids have been in a parade. They've won a world championship. They've been on ESPN. I mean, that doesn't happen to anybody really. Right. So where do you go from here? So you've won the Little League World Championship. Where do Where you do? Where do these kids go? Well, what will happen is they'll, they get, as they get older, they'll progress into another division of baseball. Yeah. Some of them will stick together. Some of them will not. But yeah, it's a great sign for uh, baseball here in Tucson in southern Arizona. And yeah. it's a long tradition of, of proud baseball here. And, and to see that continue at a young age knows that in the future that will be the case still. Right. Do you think any of them will go to Disneyland? Somebody, somebody better have said somebody it. Better. Somebody because better. Somebody better have said it. That's what they do. At what the, are you going to do next? At the, I'm going, going to Disney World at the end of the Super Bowl every time. And, who, and then, of course, they show the one shining moment commercial where everybody's all. Yes. But anyway, congratulations. Yeah. The kids from Nogales, that's awesome. Yes. And it's time to jump into our super fun show today. Yeah. We've got some awesome stuff ahead of us. So let's kick it off by the fun by featuring one of our viewers for Photo of the Day, sponsored by BuddiesDeals.com. This week, viewer Audrey Kupsik from Sierra Vista sent us this picture she took of a longhorned bull in a pasture green by the monsoon rains near Sonoida. To sign up for Buddy's Deals, just go to BuddiesDeals.com and enter your email address today. Save 50 to 90 percent on goods and services all over town. Make sure to go to our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and enter for our photo of the day. Just go to TucsonMorningBlend.com and click on the contest page, but you have to be sure to